find the general solution of the given system. So here is the given here is the given system dx dt and dy dt. So first of all, you need to find a minus lambda i. Well, actually, the first step is to re to put it into a vector x prime. Okay, with with basically you just take the leading coefficient of x and y put it into this matrix, and then you're going to find a minus lambda i. Let's call this matrix matrix a. Okay, and then subtract lambda times a matrix. You will get this, and then find the determinant of it. You will get and a three minus lambda times negative three minus lambda minus negative one times nine which is this and then simplify this you will get lambda square set it equal to zero so for lambda you will get lambda equals zero and zero okay so you here's your eigenvalue and it is a repeated eigenvalue okay so let's do it as you normally would for lambda equals zero plug it back into this matrix you will get this matrix augmented with zero okay so i know that this will give me an infinite solution so instead of go instead of reducing it down to a base matrix i'm going to solve it using either one of these equations so use the first equation i have 3k1 equals k2 if i choose k1 equals 1 then k2 is 3 and my vector k is 1 3 okay now because this is a repeated value, so you cannot, you, you just use a, a lambda equals zero and plug it into here one time. Now, how to find the other value, the other eigenvector for a repeated eigenvalues? Well, you are going to augment this with what you just found, okay? So I have, if I plug in zero in this, into this matrix, I got this. Okay, and then augmented. Uh, first, you augmented with zero, and then you got a vector k, one three. Then you use this the same vector, and then augmented with what value you just found. So in this case, I will augment it, this matrix with one three. Okay, and then solve for the unknown as you normally would. Okay, so I have three p one. Okay, let's call this a different variable, which is p. Okay, so. 3p1 minus p2 equals 1 then solve for p2 I got 3p1 minus 1 if I choose p1 equals 1 then my p2 is 2 then vector p is 1 2 okay now it is time to write your final answer so because you have repeated eigenvalues your final solution will be given in this form vector x equals c vector x equals c1 k e to the lambda t so i have c1 k e to the lambda t lambda is zero so i have e to the zero which is one which i didn't write it here okay plus c2 times actually i need to have uh, parentheses here okay so you have vector k times t e to the lambda t in this case i have c2 times k vector k what is vector k vector k is 1 3 t okay e to the lambda t e to the lambda t lambda t is, is 0 so you have e to the 0 which is 1 plus vector p which is 1 2 times e to the lambda t again lambda t is 0 so you have e to the 0 which is 1 All right so here is your final answer that's it if you find the video is helpful, feel free to give it a like, share, and subscribe to my channel in order to receive the most current videos. Don't forget to hit the bell so that you won't miss anything. I'll see you next time.